You're hella suspect, my guy? John Cena said that. I tell ya, that's what it's like being a pale creep. Everyone's like, oh, now he thinks I'm weird. It's such a weird fucking thing. And I can't tell you, especially now that I've started uploading videos to the internet. I've had people say that I am a pale weirdo, a gay suspect. And, you know, I tell you, fuck you. Okay, I get that shit all the time. And it's just such a fucking insult. Like, I can work my fucking best doing the shit clean, being nice and everything. And like, oh yeah, you just be nice because you're a creep, yo. And it's so fucking rude. I hate being called a creep. And I prefer creepy American. I prefer fucking creepy American, right? Because it's more culturally accepting. And being a creep, being a weirdo, being a pale white kid who looks like he's a serial killer on meth is worse than being black. Well, it's down south. You know, it's worse to be black because there are a ton of uh, anti-progressive tards down south, apparently. But up north, where being black is accepted, being a creep is worse than being black because it is taboo, right? There's like, what they call it? reverse racism or like a college has to accept a certain amount of people who are black right like if you're black you have advantage to people who are not black in progressive areas of the world but if you're pale it's not taboo it's actually accepted to call out potential uh rapists i'm not a fucking rapist by the way i get that a fucking lot no i'm not <laughs> And it's not taboo at all. Like, it's taboo to hate on black people. But it's not taboo to hate on creepos. And it fucking sucks. Because you get the short end of the fucking stick. It is so fucking shitty. And I am also not gay. I know I don't talk like I'm bragging about my dick size. I know I don't talk like this. But I, I talk a little bit higher up. And I know being gay, being suspect, is a spectrum. Right, like you can be married to a woman and still watch gay pornography, you know, because you can just be a little bit gay. You know, you can, you can watch some hotel fuck if you ever so desire. And I am zero percent gay. I I'm not one percent gay. I've never had a gay thought in my entire life. Right, words cannot describe how little I want to have sex with dudes. And just because I don't talk like this doesn't mean I don't want to. Uh, have sex with you. I, I'm fucking straight. I'm all about the thoughts or so on and so forth. But, I mean, I guess sort of get the fucking priest genes. Like, I've watched porn under 10 times in my entire fucking life. I know people who watch porn 10 times in a week. I've watched porn under 10 times in my entire fucking life. I'm a abstedamious I'm abstedamious I am very uh I have a low sexual drive I still have sexual drive I still see a woman and I'm like that is a fine uh whore that is a fine broad I will say that but I just don't you know feel the need to watch porn because I have the priest genes I have the fucking priest genes and that I mean rapists have very strong sexual desires, right? They're very focused on power and banging, right? And I'm not. I, I don't give a shit about looking tough. I talk however the hell I want to talk. I don't care if people think I'm mean or whatever. And I have very low sexual drive. And just because I'm fucking pale doesn't mean I'm a pedophile. I don't know. People just say that because I'm like so perfect everywhere else that they have to point to my complexion and my my eye bags aren't too bad today but I sometimes have eye bags just because that instantly makes me a creep. That's fucking mean. That's fucking mean. Like I'm straight. Right? I want to have sex with women. Now notice what? I'm fucking I'm not creepy. Right, all these fucking bitches are like, 
This is me creepy. It's like, if you're gonna talk about someone behind their back, make sure they can't fucking hear you. Like, all the fucking ugly ass, snug looking bitches all got fucking knocked up before they got out of high school. Those ones that called me a creep, all of them got the 18 year old prison sentence before they even graduated high school. All them fucking thoughts, like, if you're going to call someone a creep, you know, do it when they cannot hear you. And if you do it when they can hear you, you will be pregnant before your 18th birthday. You will get the 18-year-old prison sentence. And the worst part about it is, like, I am not creepy. It's just my tone of voice. You know, I don't talk like this. I don't talk like this. A lot of other people say a lot of creepy shit. Like, I'm, I'm hanging out with the boys, right? We're at restaurant, chilling out, in conversation. And then a minor walks by, and they're like, look at that 10. I'm like, I never have said, look at that 10 to a minor, right? I've never said that shit, pointing at a child. I mean, people who just conveniently aren't creepy do that because they feel like they're safe, right? But like me... I force myself to not be creepy because I'm so used to people calling me a fucking creep. I'm so used to people who call me a fucking creep that I never point at fucking high schoolers. People who haven't even moved out of their parents' house and say, look at that 10. Look at that 10. You're, like, that is so fucking creepy. And like, people who are not pale do that. Oh. I'm just like, tripping my guy. Twitter, called this guy out, called him a has-been, called him a rape face, Charles Manson, anything you could think of. This dude looks like a fucking zombie out of the walking dead. Then he comes here dressed like he got his outfit out of fucking Target. So, as simple as that, I made a video, the first guy th I could think of on why gamers were single was Viscount. This dude looks like he lives in his basement, he looks like he never gets sun, he could possibly be a fucking vampire. So after that, he goes on Twitter. He starts e thugging. You don't know. You don't know me. As simple as that. You could call me a bitch online all you want, but in real life, this isn't a fucking game. As simple as that. You say, say it to my face right now. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm no, getting little. Get and that's it. That's and it. And that's it. Oh. And Jay is popping off. Oh. He is popping off right now. Oh. 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 Look. I I got one more thing to say. I got one more thing to say. So, there's going to come a point when you forget about what happened. And you're going to want to come back at me. And you're going to want to wash the taste of my dick out of your mouth. He did that? Oh, my God. Damn, my God. Uh, you know, just because you're pale and you don't talk like this. And you're like shy sometimes. Doesn't mean you're a fucking creep. You know, just because you're anxious sometimes doesn't mean you're a fucking serial killer. You know, if anything, serial killers know how to play it off, right? Uh, serial rapists know how to play it off, right? I never play it off. You know, there I have no way of hiding it. You know, if someone's a serial killer, a serial rapist. If they are able to hide it, right? I if I'm like looking weird or looking out of it or looking anxious, it doesn't mean I am a serial killer. And if I was a serial killer, I would hide it a lot better, right? Because I'm fucking I'm like a siren going off of freaking search my freaking bag. But I am not creepy. I prefer creepy American. And not only that, I've been called this shit my entire life. Like, I'm fucking 12 years old being called a fucking creep. Like, how the fuck does that even work? How are you going to be fucking 12 and be called a freaking freak? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. So, I've made active measures. I'm like, oh yeah, this, this thing I'm a creep just because, you know, I just maybe I'm just a little bit of a creep. So, I would actively make steps to become less creepy and this has been my entire life like this has been my entire life 
right? This has been my entire life. I've been being called a creep behind my back, and I've heard it behind my back. If you're gonna tell shit behind my back, make sure I can't fucking hear it. But I've been called a creep my entire life, so I make reverse steps, become less creepy as a person. And since I'm not even creepy off tops, and then I make steps become less creepy, I'm actually less creepy than the average human. I still have the whatever tone of voice or whatever with the fucking eye bags or the pale skin. But I'm actually less creepy than the average homo sapien. I'm not much of a lewd fantasies making up as you see a random person walk by. You know, I don't sexually overthink. You know, I'm less of a weirdo than most. Not only that, it's because I'm so perfect. Everywhere else, the only thing they can target me with is an appearance that I don't even back up. Conclude. If you are considered a creep, I want you to start listening. Because you can hear the bitches that are easy. Because the bitches that are easy always talk behind your back in a very obvious way. So those kinds of bitches are the easy bitches. So if you are creepy and you want to have an easy bitch, just listen for the bitches that call you creepy. Because they always end up getting knocked up before they even graduate high school. Now I'm not going to insult you. If you got knocked up before you even graduated high school... Or knocked up abroad before you even graduated high school. You don't get the 18-year-old prison sentence. It's no insult to you. But, you know, if you repel women, you will not have sex in high school. So you can go to college, right? We actually have an advantage. Us uh, creepy Americans have an advantage over normal-looking people. Because normal-looking people... Well, you know, actual creeps, actual serial rapists disguise their uh, weirdness. Us people who just have the complexion have people call us our creep our entire life, so we fix it. And we become less creepy as a person, right? We improve ourselves. We repel women so we don't get knocked up before we even graduate high school. We don't get the 18-year-old prison sentence, right? We can sleep. You know, at night, from ages 19 to 22. So, yes. My tip is, um... It's always a little bit best to just be yourself and just correct the creepiness internally. And you cannot change your outside appearance. But if you want to rock the headband fashion statement, just because how swaggy... It looks, you are welcome to. You are welcome to. I'm the Red Monk. Goodbye.